After weeks spent battling the monster, we have finally managed to destroy Dracula, but at a terrible price. Quincy lies dying at our feet. All we can do is be with him as he slips into oblivion. Mina is saved, yes, but for how long? The vampire's blood runs in her veins. Though the marks on her neck have disappeared, who knows whether they will reappear or not one day. True, we all saw Dracula disappear, yet not one of us can say for certain whether we have actually defeated the fiend. Jonathan, please excuse my writing, but my hand trembles so I can barely hold my pen. After you left this morning, a strange dizziness came over me. I went out for some fresh air, and when I looked up, I was at Carfax. Dracula's home was summoning me as if he'd returned and wanted me again. As I write, I can no longer master the power that is drawing me there. I'm leaving on the first boat to Transylvania. I feel that I must go back to the castle. I am powerless. I must find out what is happening to me. Don't attempt to follow me. Your presence would only complicate things. Forgive me. Mina. Seward, my friend. My deepest fears were founded. This morning, Mina was overcome by a fit of insanity and she took off for Transylvania, alone. Apparently, Dracula is back. Could you start investigating this matter in London and find out whether the threat is real? If so, you will have to recruit new allies and go back into battle. Beware, and be careful. I am leaving all post-haste to catch up with Mina. She only has a few hours lead, and I hope I find her before it's too late. Jonathan. Welcome, stranger. Welcome to my humble inn. I hope those two brutes didn't hurt you. I cannot imagine what got into them. Never mind. You must have had a long trip, and it is already very late. Now, sit by the stove and get warm. If you need anything at all, I'm there in the kitchen. Please feel free, make yourself at home. Madam, I must go to the castle as soon as possible. To the castle? Oh, it's late. The road is long and hardly safe. You must be exhausted. 
don't bother about going to the castle tonight. I'll get your room ready and tomorrow we're discussing. Tomorrow will be too late. I must go to the castle now. Do you really have to go? Tonight is St. George's Eve. At the stroke of midnight, all the evil roaming the world will be master on Earth. Do you realize where you're going and what you will face? Stay here. Don't go. For your mother's sake. I want to go to the castle. What is the shortest path? To the old castle? But it has been deserted ever since the Count disappeared. What do you want to do there, stranger? I don't have time to explain, but it is very important for me to get to the castle immediately. You ought to wait for daylight. The path is strewn with traps. You'll have to face countless, unimaginable dangers. You'd better stay with me. We'll have a drink together. I cannot. It's a question of life and death. Whatever you like, young man. Well, you can take the old bridge behind the inn, but it's not safe. Is that really the only way? Oh, in any case, it's certainly the fastest. And don't come back!